We're about halfway through the process and I'm never going to look at a bean the same again. I've come to Australia's biggest fruit and vegetable cannery. I love beans. There's a lot of beans here. They're hard, aren't they? That's a lot of beans. That's going to make a lot of cans of baked beans. These are really dry beans. Less than 5% moisture in these if, beans. It's like a rock. And the amazing thing about dried beans is how great they are in terms of nutrition. Fibre, iron, folate, protein. Question is, Will all of that good nutrition be retained as these beans go through the canning process? First, they need to be rehydrated by Mark. Two important things is time and temperature. Your temperatures range from 75 to 85, and it's a 19 minute process through both lanches. Time and temperature are key to killing microbes and preserving nutrition. Food scientists have given this principle the sobering term thermal death time. They're starting to look like baked beans now, aren't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the ones well, in the they're, can. They're only half cooked here, so they get cooked again in the can. Different microbes in different foods take differing amounts of heat and time to die off. For these beans, there's a fair way to go yet. They're virtually white. You never think of baked beans as being white, yeah. do you? You think That's of them right. as saucy colour. So they'll take up a bit more and they'll take up some of the sauce through that cooking process. Oh, right. So that's what gives it the colour. And the sauce has a surprising nutritional benefit. This is our tomato paste. This is one of the core ingredients in the tomato sauce. That's some serious tomato paste there. When cooked, the tomato increases in lycopene, a valuable phytonutrient. You can smell it, can't Sm you? Yeah, it really smells like the sauce. While also retaining much of its vitamin C, which helps your body absorb iron from the beans. We mix it with water, with um, salt, sugar, and our special uh, spice blend. Oh, wow, now we can see the can. Yeah. Oh, it just looks so cool, doesn't it? Pretty high speed. It is high speed. Over 400 cans a minute. This is where the science of nutrition meets precision engineering. Each of those pockets is sized to deliver the right amount of beans for each can. Sort of see them shooting it down. It's a vital step in the preservation process. And the amount of beans in that can is really important to make sure we haven't got too many beans in there so that we get it at the right cook in our process, the right texture, the right flavour and the right preservation of those beans. And when your business is making food on this scale, nothing is left to chance. So there's sensors detecting there the waste? Yeah, there is. And if the can's too full or too empty, we kick it out right here. Actually, I just noticed everyone had just like, yeah, like gave it a flick. That is really important. If it's filled right to the brim, then we don't get proper cooking of the product in the can, and that can be a problem from a preservation point of view. Standing on a, what's really a giant pressure cooker. Wow, it seems crazy, like a giant science experiment. Now, under pressure, we're cooking to well over 120 degrees for several minutes. Why do you need to do that? Because we want to not only make sure the product's cooked properly so that it tastes great and it's got great nutrition, we also want to make sure we've killed all the bugs so that product's preserved. So you're keeping the food safe while we're trying to retain the nutrients. That's it, absolutely. And the taste. Don't forget the taste. It's clear from what I've seen today that preserving food is a delicate balancing act. Blanching the beans causes some water-soluble nutrients to be lost. But cooking happens in the can, so many nutrients are retained in the sauce. Here we go, Claire, your baked beans. Oh, still warm. And it's nutrition that can be stored for up to two years. I think most people have no idea how great they are when it comes to nutrition. Like, they're super high in fibre. They've also got lots of vitamins and some minerals in them as yep. well. And you saw that red in those the tomato paste 
And that's the mm. lycopene that's in there in the tomato. I wish people would eat baked beans and ditch things like donuts. Absolutely. Honestly, this is a much better snack yeah, yeah. and much, much healthier for yeah. you.